Now that is nice to see. Double digits, and I think we're already warmer than what our high was supposed to be. I think our high today was supposed to be only 37. I actually could sit here and take my time getting in the truck today and then freeze my giblets off. <laughs> Holy, what a big difference. And it's actually melting. There's water. Oh, don't hit the tree. Got a new posting for the shop. Uh, I'm done. I, I, I so uh, was going to go out and do the break in on the motor today, but I don't have any gas to run it with. Um, wanted to, but uh, one of my guys uh, called me and said, "Hey, I want to be out." yesterday and then called me and says no he wasn't I'm like really hey so I guess I'm not sure what we're going to do today I got plenty to do it just oh yeah I've uh, we're gonna do a little fabricating or something so we'll see how that goes god I can hear slush hitting the vehicle you know <laughs> it's amazing what you think is cool to hear after you haven't heard it for so long. I mean, I don't even have my gloves on yet. By now, this those couple blocks, I would have had my gloves on before I got out of my yard. That's how bad it was. So <sighs> Anyway, we'll get to the farm and see what we can get done. Well, I've got it posted in two places in the shop. You guys want to read it? You don't have to. Yeah, it says basically I will no longer let anything leave unless it's paid for. There is no charging in of any kind. If it's going to be a big project, and they need to, what we're going to go to is uh, have them pay the money. We'll put it in an envelope, and once the Envelope and safe and once they reach what the repairs are going to cost Then I'll do the work um, Done So Anyway Yesterday when I left that's what I was messing with the oil pan for this uh, motor Problem with the oil pan is it came off a blowed up motor. I got a hole right there to weld shut but the other problem is, if you look down it, yes, see, it's not straight anymore. This side, look at that, it really, I am not sure if I can get that straight. I've got an idea how I need to straighten it, but I don't have those anymore. So, yeah. Just a little wee bit bent. I got this side in a little ways, but uh, a lot of the holes, I, I'm not sure. I got an idea on how to pull it together, but I don't know. She, I didn't think it was that rough and tough. I got to get a new lens for this thing. Anyway, I think the furnace is working. I ain't even looking. I can't do anything to fix it right now, so I ain't going to worry about it. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, that's what I got to get. I got to find some old pieces and parts, and we're going to make a tool. That we are. We're going to check something on that. The easy way. So, I guess I'll get with that. And, uh... That means I gotta dig out the welder. I need the welder today. Maybe. I don't know. I gotta look around. We'll see. Alright, you know it's bugging me here. I did get all the threads chased. I did all the head bolt holes. But wherever this block was before it got here, 
was really, really, it wasn't stored in the best place. So I'm doing the water pump holes. And some of these you got to watch because they are bottomed out. And, uh, So you gotta be careful. I know they got special taps for those. I just got regular old taps. Okay? Wow, that was full of silicone and whatever else was in there. Since you're chasing through threads, you should not need any lubricant. I need to find my little road zip so I can get in there with a the little wire brush and clean out this front area, this front cam bearing groove. Wow, it's shiny now. I mean, I got a whole bunch of taps. Got the pipe plugs. All pressure sending units. Head bolts and other miscellaneous bolts. So, you guys really didn't see that, did you? Sorry. I'm just trying to tie up a few loose ends, and I'm still thinking about this oil pan on this motor, how to straighten that. I had the pan that had the same flat area. I'd almost cut the bottom off this one and just make a new one. But, we'll get her. There's nothing more I hate than coming across a block that somebody hasn't cleaned the threads. Or you got busted off bolts in the block. Oh, that's just... That's where I was coming out of that one. This block was left oily and dirty. I mean, everybody says, oh, you leave them oily and dirty, they'll be okay. This one was oily and dirty, if you guys remember when it came in. I mean, it was nasty. But the bolt holes weren't treated or left oiled, so. I think that one goes. Yep, that one's a three hole. That one's captured. So there's only one three hole, so yeah, you gotta watch when you're on the tap that you don't go too deep and then snap it off and then Yeah, then you gotta fight. It can be done, but it's not fun. So yep. Those are taken care of. I mean even the I'll even do the motor mounts. Just so you know, you can get your... What the heck was that? Did you guys see that flash? So there's no rust in any of your threads. You get full use of them and you know your fastener draws up tight. This is the time consuming stuff that you end up doing. Now, well, since this is going in uh, modified, oh, that's what's going in light bulb. Good thing I got more, huh? So it's, it's going in the modified. Sometimes they use these holes. And this one that I'm tapping right here with the block upside down is the one that you got to make sure is in there. Yeah, this one's been machined for the. Uh, 
Uh, well, this one. Oh, they changed that on the newer blocks. That's not a through hole. You used to be able to use that hole to go in and, uh, it's got the fuel pump provision, but it doesn't have the hole where you could, uh, actually go in and, uh, jam the fuel pump rod so it would stay up. Okay. I guess they did change the 87 blocks a little. But anyway, what I was saying, they sometimes use these uh, bolt holes for mounting the engines. So I guess we'll just... Clean the threads and... Then we know we don't have to worry about them later. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm going to do for a little bit here, so chase some more threads. You guys are probably looking at like, what in the world is he about to do? Well, so am I. I am working on Buddy's oil pan. I've got all the bolts in except two right here. I had to put it in the press. I've beat on this pan. I've got it back in the shape and holy moly. It was twisted pretty good but I'm getting it. But when I pushed in I put these two uh, bolt holes too far, and I'm not kind of coming up with a good way of moving them. Hmm. Because this oil pan came off a motor that grenaded. I just moved it. Oh, we're so close. Let's see. Let's get another one. Nope, that's wrong. Yeah, I got. I know I'm about to the point, but I'm about point the oversizing the holes a little. But I don't want to do that yet because if, uh, if I don't have a clearing proper place, so yeah, where I need. To, so yeah, that's right where I need it. There's the dipsticks coming, coming in. Oh. Yeah, it's right there. So I need to be working where I'm working. So hmm, I guess I got to find a better bar to hit with. So if I can get, yeah, that's what I. Well, let's see. If I
So that one must line up. No, it's just under the webbing. I gotta move, okay? Just under the web, so. You know what? I got a bigger. Hey, wait a second. How long is this? Oh, why couldn't that be longer? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, oh, why couldn't that have been four inches longer? Far. <laughs> I kind of felt that go that time. Let's see. The things I do to go racing. Hey! Not been what we're looking for. There's one. Because I put all the other bolts in and bolted it down so I would, uh... And... Did we? Ha-ha! <laughs> we got him! We got it! Taking a hammer. That's a hard spot to hit, so we'll. back around oops I hit the bolt I can get that back out okay that side's looking good since I got light in there I'm looking at the oil pan alignment right now see right you guys don't see it anyway right there got a big gap That side is closed up now. Happy with that. 
no real light showing through and right here is the hole that I got beat back flat and now I got to wire weld that off clean it so I can weld that back in there and that one I'm here that's what I wanted to get just a little bit more clearance for the bolt Out. The motor that this come off must have threw a couple of rods. Figure with everything bolted down tight and that. All right. Well, sounds like I got some company. Oh, well, you guys, you know, I got that block looking so nice and clean there. The galley plugs are, I've tapped those for the galley plugs to screw in so I know. And I, I forgot a plug. And look again. There you go. Look at the nasty that would have been left in that motor to ruin your day. So, yep. You got to make sure they're out. I got one more over here on the side of the tank. Right there. And then this can go and be clean and acid, which ought to take a lot of the light surface rust off. And I had somebody yesterday say, well, you're not going to fix that oil pan. Well, that's the first time I ever bit on the battery and it shut, uh, shut off. But uh, all the bolts are in there, except for the rear. And there this pan works on both left and right late model uh, the 87 miles see the vortex has a different bolt pattern to the so this is a 1987 block so oh then my neighbor was just here he says hey you want to put that Tommy lift on that guy's truck I said well I'm not ready I'll just lean a little and then we'll look level <laughs> Uh, so they're not ready because uh, I still got to get uh, all the stuff cut off the back end, so oh, well, it's no big deal. Uh, and I think it's about time that I got to uh, just say. Ah, so yeah, two hours I worked on that oil pan to fix it. Now I just got to buzz it back together over there, and then uh, I'll take the screen out of there so that can be hot tanked and make sure all the metal filings are out from the last motor it blew up with it. And I said, I asked him, I said, did that motor that blew? I said, you must have blew the center rods out of that. He said, yes, I did. So that explains why that pan was. So it blew the side of the block and everything on that. He said, and that was those IMCA crate motors. Oh. So. Just got a little. I just got a little understanding on something here. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Also, when you got a little birdie, tell you some info that you didn't know, and it helps. It helps. That's good. I guess it ain't me, it's just somebody else, it's something else. So that 
helps. And there, the furnace runs only for a few minutes right now. Where do, oh, let's see, what is our tip? I know the snow is melting outside. I love it. We're 32 degrees. When we came to the farm, we were 34, so it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. Um, I'll look at that later. So, yeah, I didn't get to making the tool that I need to make to work on the big block. I got something I was going to make. We even had the welder fired up. I should have welded this oil pan. Yeah, there's just... Oh, that's what I was checking the time. This kids want to do supper. It is... Through, I'm getting... Yeah, it's getting close. I'm going to have to start locking stuff up and putting it away. Not that I really got anything out today, but... And then it's Monday! Now we can start trying to figure this stuff out again. Um, I guess I'm glad I know how to work metal. I mean, I've got that thing. I'm kind of proud of fixing that. I I am. I've, I almost wish I... Uh, first I was thinking ah, I needed the main caps off out of the way. Then I could have reached in there and done what I needed to. But, uh, no, the main caps actually came in very handy because with that pan bowing out and everything, it twisted. So, and granted, this is just a race car. If this was somebody's street car with this pan, it would have been a new pan. But this is a race car. This guy likes, if they got cracks in the lifter valleys, and as long as it holds water, he's running them, which I see his point. Because you get claimed, hey, let them deal with it. That's why he doesn't want to put a whole lot of stuff into it. So hopefully tomorrow I can get my hands on some gas and we're going to break that motor in because I think tomorrow's forecast, let's check that. I think it's supposed to be nice the next few days. Get that 350 broke in. Um, hmm. I'm talking about engine parts right now with a guy. Yeah, I'm still trying to get some builds built. I don't know why, because don't seem to get anything sold. Honey, gritty. Oh yes, Monday, 37. Tuesday, 39. Wednesday, 39 with a chance of rain, and then back to 15 on Thursday. So the next few days will be the time. To break that motor in, I can throw the cat in the office. Ah, uh, ah! Uh, throw the cat in the office. We'll run that motor, break it in, and hopefully, and then I'll make a video of it and put it on Craigslist and see if I can get that thing sold. It's like I told my neighbor. I said, I don't need all these motors. If I'm going to continue to build these motors and I can't sell them. We're going to either have to build a drag car, or a race car, or a race truck, something to justify having them around. I mean, come on. Stuff's for sale. So, I guess I'm going to continue to talk about parts because I just found out something else. <laughs> that I could, uh, we could really use around here. And, uh... <laughs> no, it's phone anyway, so... Alright, see you guys later. And it's my daughter, so have a good one.